Today is going to be tough because in our last video, our top comment was from Tango saying Jay never fails to spread my cheeks with his uploads. And since I'm not a Minecraft channel, I'm not doing that. But our second most voted comment was from Patty and prepare yourself because this is a long one. They said that they want us to do the Tundra while doing the Firebase the Easter Egg, but we have to be Orta in one of the assault waves before completing the Easter Egg and do the Staycation Dark Ops Challenge. So that's what we're doing today. And they also said that we can upgrade Death Perception to Tier 3 for whatever that's worth. But before we get into it, if you want to leave any weapon challenge, or upgrade suggestions go ahead and leave it in a comment down below i'll have a comment there as well with everything that we've already completed so make sure you check that out first that way you don't get any repeats this is gonna be a pain to do because if you don't know what the staycation challenge is that we mentioned earlier we have to stay in spawn for 20 rounds i also might have mentioned that it was a dark ops challenge and i don't think that's true i think it's actually like a, a seasonal challenge from when i looked it up but it's gonna be an awful challenge to do with just this sniper considering I can't aim at all. So I was thinking, all right, you know, getting to, you know, round 30 fighting Orta and then doing the Easter egg was going to be tough enough. But now we have to stay in here for 20 rounds. I am not looking forward to this, especially since I don't get dead shot in the first room. So I'm be whiffing on all these crits. Ooh, actually, we're kind of killing it right now with our critical kills. I don't think I've missed a single one. Well, I've definitely missed my shots, but every kill I've gotten has been a crit so far. Let's hope it stays that way. But I'm really going to take advantage of these earlier rounds here while the zombies are still somewhat slow. Because I know once we hit, like, I don't know, round nine, that it's already going to be tough in here. Oh, no. Well, there goes our perfect game. But luckily, recently, we did a first room challenge on every map. So I kind of know what I need to do to get through these first 20 rounds. So I might have to end up buying like a death machine or something to get through these. Maybe even like a combat bow. All right, we're about halfway through our staycation. And I think I have enough to get a combat bow. So I'm grabbing that because I don't know how well this unpack a punch like red level tundra is going to do against like manglers and mimics. Speaking of mimics, come here, you bastard hit you with that uh yeah you can grab me as long as you don't kill me there you go no no fuck wait does quick revive even get me up do i even have that upgraded i do all right well that's good we don't have to burn through our self revive but it is getting uh increasingly more difficult in here to say the least and we still got six more rounds to go Oh, here comes our first mangler. Honestly, probably easier to kill than a, a mimic. So there you go. And he should be dead. Yep. It's just too easy. I guess one positive we get out of this is that when we're finally done with the staycation challenge, I'll have enough money to basically fully pack a punch my gun. Maybe even get a few perks. Oh, and it only took till round 16 for them to drop me armor. Being stingy with the armor today. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Chill, 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 chill. No need to kill me right here. We've been doing so well. We don't need any shit like that to happen. And there's too much going on right now. So I need to hit him with the DIY monkey bomb. And handle this mimic. Clean, dude. And they dropped some more armor for me. How kind. All right, we just got one more round to go. Now, this is kind of like the social distancing challenge. And I don't know if it means like I just need to go to round 20, like the second it shows 20 that I'm done. Or if I need to complete round 20. I'm hoping it's just get to round 20. And I think I'm just now realizing that I forgot to switch to my nine round speed mag. And I have the seven round speed mag in. I don't think it's going to be too much of a difference. But I spent an extra like 20, 25 minutes trying to get one more level for my Tundra on stream yesterday, just trying to get that attachment, just to not even put it on. I don't know why I had to be cursed with such like a room temperature IQ. I don't even think this is one shot killing to the head anymore. All I see is hit markers. It's like using this thing in multiplayer without the task force barrel. And I think these are our last zombies here. So bearing anything crazy, I think we got through this. Goodbye, zombie. Oh, wait. Goodbye, zombie. There we go. We got staycation done. So we just needed to get to 20. All right, now we can actually play the game. So long, spawn room. And now we have 72,000 V-Bucks to spend. And I want to do something maybe a little controversial, but I honestly think this is a kind of a smart play, bearing any uh, acts of God happening right here. But we need, we need the Ray K for the Easter egg. So I'm going to start up some trials. And if you do trials without opening up any of these doors, it won't put like uh, survive in like, I don't know, med bay or some crazy area. 
idea. All I'll give you challenges for is this room and the spawn room. So I just have to hang out over here and uh, maybe it'll go ahead and just give me the Ray K to start. And if not, then I'm wasting even more time. But this was my plan before I saw the whole staycation part of the challenge. So I figured this is a much easier way to get the Ray K than trying to like look at the dartboard and go like back and forth or like leave a zombie in the essence trap to do it. I'd rather just get it really quick for free. Well, I guess for a few 500 points, but that ain't that bad. So I'm going to do this until we get up to legendary. Oh, we have to kill zombies in the courtyard. Great. Fantastic. We have to go back to the spawn room, but I'm going to do this until we get legendary and hopefully we get the Ray K. And just to speed up the process, we'll just nade him here because that'll be a lot of kills. But it sucks that it says my reward is just intel. I don't know if I'm up to legendary or not yet. I don't give a fuck about no intel. Ryzen gang. We'll try it one more time. Oh yeah, it says claim rewards, so we gotta be a legendary. And please give me the Ray K, make me look like a genius. Oh, I am a genius. Let's go. Got the Ray K before you even turn on power. But speaking of power, we should probably go turn that on. First reactor is started. Oh my God, yeah, it doesn't even one shot headshot. Lame. So it's probably in our best interest to get this reactor on so that armor stand over there is active and then we can just upgrade the damage on this. Or I might actually have to just nade my way through this. Because this is, like, not viable at all. Not efficient. Yeah, fuck it, I'm nading. And that's the first reactor. Just took me one little semtex. Okay, let's upgrade this now. Maybe we can actually kill some zombies with it. Get it all the way up to purple. Now we'll start up our second reactor. Get a quick little nade over here, too. Just to kill a few zombies. Kind of a weak nade. And I think I'm just gonna melee the rest of them with this bow. We're missing out on some camos here, but we just need to get these on. And where are my manners? Gotta grind the rail. Forgot to do it on the other one. We'll have to come back for it. And let's start up our last reactor. And you guys can also eat a nade. That is our final reactor. Power is now on and I almost died the second it turned on. So now I want to try to do as many Easter egg steps as I can before we get up to round 30. As I said, we just can't finish the Easter egg before round 30. We need to fight Erd Orda. Erda. We need to fight Orda before we're done with it. And we are so far behind on our Pack-A-Punch kills. I need to get Pack-A-Punch right now. So let me Tesla Star my way over here. Grab Pack-A-Punch. One, two, three. Grab Deadshot and Stamina Up and Speed Cola. And now let the camo grinding begin. It's actually going to be crazy to kill things with this again. We haven't been able to do that since like round 13. Now we'll talk to Rabinov. We also got to talk to Dr. Peck. What's going on, Mr. Peck? Mr. Cuck? Dr. Cuck? That's right. I threw her through the portal. Gonzo forever. Bastard. Time to show Peck our own cruelty. Come, see me. There is more than one way to kill a Sabaka. I'm coming, Rabinov. So we'll talk to him again. Oh, that's where Rabinov shits at. He's got a little toilet in the corner there. What else you got in here? That bed's kind of fucked up. He's got some food in the corner. Maybe some Funko Pops hidden in there. The gaming setup. Gaming setup part two. And I guess I'll take this uh, Costco card. Now we need to grab all the semen samples on the map. And we need to force feed them to Peck. So we'll take the first one. Here is our second one. Open up. Give me that. And here is our third. I'll be taking that. And I guess while I'm in the area, we might as well grind the rail. Clean. Even though I don't think I touched it. I'll still count it. Let's mix these bad boys up. Fuck up all the hellhounds. And I think we're good to go. Transfer that over to there. Use that. And now with our handy dandy semen infuser, we can go ahead and feed it to Peck. Enjoy the airborne cum, you bastard. Now go ahead, do your whole song and dance. Actually dance. Where's this music coming from? Because no way he's got like a, an Alexa in there where when he says the meaning of life is to dance, a song starts playing. Also, where's your toilet, Peck? Where do you be shitting at? You just shitting and pissing under the desk? Or is that, that fancy chair right there supposed to be a toilet? I don't see any plumbing. And there's like no door to leave here besides this. So he's just trapped in there pooping in the corner. This cutscene always takes so long, bro. We get it. You dance. Finally, he's telling us to go to the data center. 30 minutes later. Oh, and the round just ended. That mangler just exploded before my eyes. Well, let me go ahead and grab my little essence trap. And while this assault wave is starting, I'm going to go try to find some mimics. Now, I've done this Easter egg a few times. I'm going to try to do all of it from memory, at least as much as I can. But I don't know if I remember where every mimic is at. 
I think one's supposed to spawn over here. Maybe they don't spawn during assault wave rounds, and I'm gonna have to just end this round, which sucks. Yeah, it's not looking like they do. Okay, all right. Let me let me deal with this assault wave real quick, because I know for sure one's supposed to spawn near Colonels. One spawns in uh, Pex quarters and spawn. I think the other one's near like the weapon bay. So I guess we'll see. But this is my least favorite Easter egg step in this whole game, because even if you know where the mimic spawn, there's a chance that you could just pick up the wrong mimic. And I just heard a mimic spawn. So now's a good time to test to see if this will just one-shot them or not. Because we need the mimics to be low health to capture them. So let's see. Oh no, okay. This this won't immediately kill them. And that should do it for the assault wave. Oh wait, no. There's still a lot more. What? Why is there so many of you? At least they're just feeding me crits. We'll get something out of this. All right, now that should be it, right? How's there still more? Oh, it's just a mangler. Blade a bitch. Well, I'm gonna try to dwindle down this round to like one zombie. I really got to make sure that I don't kill these mimics just in case I accidentally spawned the one that we need for this. And we're going to test them all. Every mimic will be tested. All right, let's see if I can get this mimic in a trap. Come here, buddy. There you go. We'll see if this is one. No information there. Keep nope. going. And so it begins. Well, let's see if our mimic buddy spawned over here. Okay, so I'm not seeing any items over here near kernels. What about near weapon bay? Any mimics? This is fucked up. Maybe we'll have one back at spawn. Let's go see. Any mimics in here? Oh, I see the items on the ground. There it is. Let's throw that. Let's really make sure not to kill him. I'm scared to do any more damage to him, but I think he needs a little bit more to actually go on the trap. Because if this trap breaks and I leave this area, I'm pretty sure he despawns. And this zombie's right up against him anyways. Here we go. Let's try it. Maybe this is enough damage. Nope. Well, that fucking sucks. Let's see if the Mimic will follow us over to the other area. Maybe what I should do is grab Mule Kick, and then I can pick up a third gun and do, like, just a, a teeny bit of damage to him. Please don't kill me. Oh, you're weak as fuck. So if I can just do enough damage to him to get him into the Essence Trap, that'd be perfect. Well, let's hope that he follows us over through the portal so I can grab another trap. I don't think he followed us over. I don't see any mimics anywhere or zombies for that matter. You know what? I'm thinking glass half full. Maybe he stayed over there for us. Oh, uh, all the items are gone and I don't see the mimic anywhere. That's awesome. <sighs> well, it does look like we're getting cucked here. So I'm going to have to end the round and uh, we'll try to see if we can find our mimics next round. Isn't this awesome? All right, we got the last few zombies in the round and two of them are mimics. So let me try to lower their health and see if either one of these guys is our guy. All right, first one in. Come on, please be right. Nope, up. fantastic. What about this mimic? Let's try another one. Nope, let's go see if uh, maybe we actually got our mimics to spawn this time. Oh, dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Not a single mimic in this round? Why? Why does this Easter egg fucking suck? No items around, nothing. I'm getting played. Oh, well, guess we gotta do a whole nother round. Yippee. I'm starting to think we might get this plague diamond before we even finish the mimic step. Hopefully this is the right dude right here. Oh, another mimic just spawned right here. Out of nowhere. Maybe this could be our guy. Man, that... Last mimic was definitely not it. How about you, sir? Nothing worthwhile there. Try what again. the hell? What was even the point of a mimic spawning right here if it wasn't going to be the right one? It's going to make me listen to every single scientist that worked here's the theory about the portal instead of just giving me the fucking codes to Maxis. A hellhound just spawned for some reason. This round's weird. Oh, and that was the final zombie of the round, I guess. The zombie turned into a hellhound. Awesome, dude. I think me fucking up the other mimic fucked up every mimic in the game. Oh, uh, and there's our threshold camo. We're at 1,500 crits. We just need about 1,000 more. I guess we'll try again. That's no good. You can find another one. Oh, uh, surprise, surprise. No mimic items over here. Oh, there's mimic items right here. This could be our guy. Get in there. This might be our first actual mimic. What? It broke out? How? Your health is so low. All right, well, at least we don't have to teleport. Maybe the bastard will follow us to get a new one. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna be so pissed if I fuck this part up again. Because that would have been two mimics that we needed. Go on. Please be the right one. And no breaking out of it this time. What? How? I'll literally get you to one HP. Here, try again. Bastard. Okay, that time it actually let me capture him. Oh, let's go. That's one of the codes. We just need two more. Oh, and the zombie just fucking fell over and died. Well, you guys know the drill. Gotta go through a whole nother round to see if we can find more mimics. Oh, there it is. This is our guy right here. 
how do I pin him? Okay, so this mimic we need. Crazy that we found him at the beginning of a round too. So I just need to keep track of that one and try to get it at some point. Okay, I got the round down to just like this many zombies. And I think I got his health low enough. Let's see if I can capture him. And I grabbed the wrong one. So we'll have to go grab another essence trap. This is like a really smart and like intuitive Easter egg step. It takes a whole lot of skill, a lot of planning, and definitely not RNG based at all. Very satisfying step too. Makes me really want to do this Easter egg multiple times. I'm glad my pin has stayed on this mimic this whole time though, so I know which one's the right one. At least this game's got that going for it. Now get in the trap. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Trap a zombie in it. No, quit getting in there. You're the wrong mimic. I'm trying to trap it. I'm spamming my square button. All of it's doing, it's reloading. Oh yeah, let's trap a zombie in there again. This is even more annoying. I have the right mimic right here. I'm like 99% sure this is going to be the right mimic. I can't get him in the fucking trap. Oh my God. Stop going in it. Other mimic. And that mimic's back in. Welcome back, dude. Maybe he actually stayed in it this time. So I can fucking throw his ass away. Oh, why does the zombie love to be in the essence trap? Stay away. I've trapped every other thing besides this one mimic multiple times. <sighs> it's like it don't want to go off with the mimic near it. This is our best shot right here. Get in! I'm spamming the fucking button! What the fuck? I'm actually being trolled right now. No way! Why does it not go off with the mimic right there? Okay, now it's literally just me and the mimic. Fuck those other zombies. Get in the trap. Oh, you guys are seeing this, right? You guys are seeing me. Oh, hold on. Let me fucking unplug this controller. I am spamming the button. Spamming it. Look, a quick double tap on the trap. It will not be captured. Throw it down, capture. Scanning for target. Tell me target and range. What the fuck is going on? Get in the trap. Maybe because it's pinned? What if I unpin it? That's the only thing I can think of to do. Come here. Get in. Get in. The trap refuses to go off on him. Just because I know someone's gonna be like, well, actually, you're not doing it right. Oh, he fucking died anyways. But I've been sitting here spamming fucking square and nothing is happening. I spent all that time trying to capture him just for him to die. We're already almost at round 30. We haven't even gotten like a majority of the Easter egg done. I'm so pissed. Oh, there's our rotten camo. All of our normal kills are done. And there's 1,500 pack kills. We need 1,000 more of those. Now it's that time of the round again. Can we find a fucking mimic to get into this trap? Oh, here it is. I'll make sure its health is extremely low. I don't want any excuses from this fucking game for why I can't get this mimic. And let's try to get it. Its health is extremely low. There's no reason why it should break out of this. Oh, we captured it. Already doing better than last round. And please be one of the mimics that we need. Oh, let's go. That's another code. We'd be done right now if that other fucking mimic would get in the trap. We just need one more. Oh, here's his. Get in the trap now. I don't want to wait till later. Come on. Oh, I think we got it. This would be fucking awesome if we can just complete this mimic step right now. Go ahead and read it, computer, and tell me if it's the right one. Oh, we got it. That's the last number. The last ID. Oh, finally. I'm pretty sure I was on that step for like an hour and basically 10 full rounds. So lame, dude. Worst step in the game. Now it's on site for mimics. I don't give a fuck about a mimic. And I don't remember what the next step is. All I know is mimic right now. So I'm looking it up. I never grabbed the flop yada here. Shout out to Codename Pizza. I always do that whole step and then forget to grab this one item I get out of it. Give me the floppy. So what I'm gonna do is my classic strat of putting a zombie in an essence trap that's already low health. And I won't have to worry about anything on the map while I do this part. And I got three more essence traps to do it. So each essence trap is three minutes. I can have 12 minutes of uninterrupted Easter egg steps. Is this going to open up? There we go. What's going on, portal? Oh, we need to stabilize it. So now we talk to Peck. Peck's going to basically tell us to fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care that you abandoned your wife to go open a portal to hell. We need more power. Find Ethereum crystals. Take them to the Aether reactors. Bye, bitch. Now we need the Aether meter. So if you would stop fucking talking, grabbing off, we can grab it out of this locker. Oh, I guess you have to give me the code. 
726. He was thinking of me. So now we need to find all the little aether crystals or whatever. Oh wait, our essence trap's about to break. Now I need to go get another essence trap to put you back into. So let's walk you there so you don't despawn and become like a hellhound or some shit. Back into your cage, you animal. Now we need our handy dandy shovel. We need to go dig up some aether tools or aether crystals, whatever. Our first one is right over here. Oh, it's right here. So shoot that down, dig it up so it can't move, and then we grab it. That's one canister. Our next canister is going to be over here. We just got to dig it up, and it's going to go bye bye And now we have 18 million canisters, and we just need to find one that doesn't have any poop flakes in it. And we got to be really careful not to fuck this one up, because if we do, these will all turn into mimics, and we all know how we feel about mimics now. And then we'll have to wait till the next round to even try it again. I think this one's it. Let's grab it. Oh, it worked! And this essence trap's about to break, so I'm gonna go make sure that we have another one before we get our last little aether crystal. Come on out, little buddy. And right back in you go, idiot. And our round just ended anyways. That's cool. Awesome, actually. I was really thinking, huh, I really want this round to end right now. I guess we can just try to get our last crystal here. I wonder if that like reverted our essence trap or what? Like, can we reuse this now? Because I still have it in my inventory. I haven't been getting any updates on whether or not, like, you know, the time has gone down. So maybe we got lucky. Oh, yeah, it just said one minute until containment failure. So I still had the zombie in it, but it ended the round for nothing. Oh, I can actually pick it up now. Cool. So that's all of our crystals. Let's go try to load up all of our Aether reactors with them now. That's one. That is two. And this should be three. Now, let me grab our last essence trap because we're going to need it for this next step. Or maybe I should fight Orda first. Maybe I should go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big bastard before we finish this off. And we still need to get some crits, so maybe I'll work on that too. Now it's time to just train around in a circle until Orda shows up and also get like a thousand more crits. Wait, what happened? The whole OPC thing's just happening. I didn't even go in there. Well... And the story progressed itself after the round ended. I still have to do like one more step for the Easter egg, but I'll wait. That's so fucking crazy. They're like, there's gotta be another way to get power here. Wait, what about that beam of energy we have in space? Do you think that could perhaps bring power back to this whole area? It's always a fucking crazy long shot. They got a plot of their ass. I'm not gonna lie. Peck had, had Requiem cooked. Maxis should be like dead in the Dark Aether right now. Oh, and now we got Orda showing up. Finally. Bro was too scared. He waited till round 33 to show up. But I came prepared. I actually have a Ring of Fire here. Ring of Fire isn't going to do cr anything too crazy for my fire rate, but it should up my damage by a lot. So go ahead and spawn in Orda. This is just going to be a warm up to our final battle. Here he comes. What's up now, bitch? Pop in the Ring of Fire immediately. And we're doing 11,000 damage per bullet. Enjoy this dicking, Orda. If my bullets can fucking connect to you. With your disjointed ass hitbox. Okay. I think I've hit maybe like four bullets. Fuck your hitbox, bitch. Oh, yeah. No. Bad mimic. He's critting. His Ordussy is prolapsing. Made me miss the whole crit. And now they're fucking up the generator. Guys, leave it alone. All right, this is a little more difficult than I thought to take him out with just a sniper. I'm managing too many things at the moment. And they might actually break the reactor. But we got a ring of fire right now. And he's critting. This is the perfect time. 13,000 damage. I thought I'd be doing a lot more at this point. And he just flew away. Is he dead? No, the reactor got blown up. All right, well, that fucking sucks. I guess I'll turn this back on. Hopefully that's not an omen for our, our final boss fight with him. I'm just gonna go ahead and say he got lucky. If there is no Aether reactor there for them to destroy and him just to fly away... He was definitely about to die. Orda's a coward and a fraud. Get away from me. Six health. Insane. I hate doing this shit with a sniper. Every shot counts and I cannot aim. All right, there we go. We got the reactor back on. Just in time too. I was about to get killed. But now I just got to get crits until I see that plague diamond pop up. And then we can finish our Easter egg. It's looking like we might have to do this boss fight on like round 40. It's round 35 and we're still not done. I was like halfway joking when I said it would take until round 40 to get it done, but now we're here and I'm sad. I got 1,600 crits right now, almost 1,700. I hope I don't need that much more. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. 2,500 crits. I think we might still need Pack-A-Punch kills though. That's crazy. That almost never happens. But I was right on the money, I guess, saying round 40 is when we get our crits done. Oh, and there's Gold Viper. Let's go. And since we already have our sniper class done, that should be Plague Diamond as well. So now I don't give a fuck what I kill th what these zombies with. They're eating nades. I just need to make sure that I leave either one special or elite or one zombie, whatever. I just need to leave it alive with low health so I can finish this Easter egg. Actually, before we do all that, I want to make sure I have at least an insurance policy if this uh, Tundra ends up not being able to do the... The amount of damage we need to order. So I'm going to fully pack this Ray K. I'm going to switch my ammo mod on this to Shatter Blast. And maybe I'll be let out of here alive. Okay, cool. And I always forget that I don't have my Shatter Blast fully upgraded. So it doesn't really do anything. Kind of lame. I don't think we've upgraded a single ammo mod so far in this playthrough. That's on y'all. And now we really can't fuck up capturing the zombie. Because we have zero essence traps left. And I shot his head off. So that's cool. So much for that. Um, let's just hurry up and try to get this done then, I guess. Um, over to the OPC. Yeah, you know me. We need to find the one with the question mark. That's America. That's Soviet Union. That's America. It's gotta be this one right here. Got it. Let's fucking go, dude. Maybe I should just lose the essence trap right now then. So I will be grabbing cashmere's and go ahead and give us that fucking beam of electricity. Clean. Let's fucking go, dude. Facility power is coming back. All right. Now let's go get Maxis. It's time to come on home. Oh, shit. I'm so glad to be at this part, but I'm a little nervous that I'm not going to beat the boss. Damn, Maxis. You live like this? Thanks for letting us know, Weaver. Bro's letting me know about the extraction midway through this. What's going on, Maxis? Are you Requiem? Requiem. Had that backwards. Er, Maxis, maybe we should get out of here. I hope that thing don't explode. Oh, looks like it did anyways. All right, Maxis, get in the Uber. I'll handle business. We got one last big bitch to take care of. And hopefully I can actually get him this time. And just as a little extra insurance policy this time around, I grabbed a death machine. So did I die immediately? Oh, shout out Jug, dude. That's crazy. Oh, 44,000 damage. Insane. You should crit again, Orda. That was cool. Go ahead and die for me, buddy. Hey, this is not doing a whole lot. It's working, but not as well as I want it to. I'm buying more cashmeres. Oh, he's critting again? Eat shit, bitch. Right in the Ordussi. Throw another one. I actually don't even think zombies are spawning in. I'm throwing these for nothing. Okay, now zombies are spawning in. Okay, another cashmere. Don't worry, Orda. I got all the time in the world with these cashmeres. You just sit back and eat my cock. We got him to half health. Go ahead and crit again, please. There we go. That's what I like to see, buddy. Just a good old fashioned ass kicking for old time's sake. Almost there. Just a painfully slow shot at a time. I can still buy more cashmere, Zorda, so don't even worry your little head about it. It's just me and you. He's very low. I think I can do this with one more cashmere. And he is fucking dead. Let's go. Woo! That's another Easter egg down, and I think we only have two more left. We only have D-Machina, and I think Forsaken. And that's it. Let's get the fuck out of here. You might have beat me on the Assault Wave order, but you didn't stand a chance this time around. Oh, would you look at that? Raptor 1 flying on in. This has been the most convoluted way to get the Easter egg and the Tundra done, but I'm so glad that I actually got it done. Whole lot of done in that sentence, but y'all get it. Actually fucking ridiculous. That took... I'm not even joking. Like three hours. Pain in the ass. Look at Rabinov trying to flirt with Maxis. And also, did Maxis have this sword before the Wakasashi came out? Was this supposed to be a teaser for that? And why do we never see her use it? Look at me just posted up over here waiting. Like, what the fuck else is going to happen? Oh, but my favorite part. Valentina looks so fucking weird in human form. I'm not going to lie. This is what the fucking Colonel thinks about this peck. Let's just skip to the chase and take his fucking eye out. Ooh. Which is your better eye? Tell me, doctor. Which is your better eye? So fucking sick. And this is our final stats. 
for that game. 2,500 kills, 1,700 crits, zero vibes, and one down. And that was during our whole first room challenge. Also, what the fuck was that noise that just played right there? That was like a FNAF jump scare. And just in case you're curious, this is what the Tundra looks like in game with Plague Diamond. Our, I think, fifth sniper done, maybe fourth. I think we only, literally only have one sniper left in the class, but we're definitely not moving anywhere close towards Dark Aether. We just keep doing the same weapons in the same classes. But yeah, this is what it looked like. And like I mentioned, we haven't really gotten that many classes done. We have melees and specials, which counts as one. We have our snipers, which is two. And I think our shotguns, and that is it. We haven't done like any of the other classes. We just keep going back to the same classes over and over again. So if you want to be a doll, maybe recommend us do something different, like maybe an SMG or an AR or anything else. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.